welcome in to the channel. Hey, it's Elizabeth. I'm going to do a pick a card. I won't waste your time. But listen, while I'm setting up these cards, I've shuffled and blessed, and I'm about to lay out three piles for you. Don't look at that. Please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. Subscribe. Did it work? Did the subscribe button animate? I need to know. Check it out. All right, here we go. I'm going to give you three piles to choose from. Okay, you guys are so cool to take a deep breath. Think about which resonates with you. They all have similar cards, just a different order. This is pile one with the hand, two with the heart, and three with the moon face. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here too. Please know there will be timestamps for each and all. So do check out all of the messages and just take what helps you and resonates and leave the rest. Here we go. Group one. Let me show you. This is, oh, the light's bad. There we go. This is the card 40. With some numerology, I want you to understand this is four. There's a lot of self-shame and confidence or lack of confidence going on here, group one. So this can be past life issues, childhood issues, the things that you need to seek out grounding and an understanding about and to find a good, healthy way to look at yourself and a good perspective on the path forward. And please make peace with everything and everyone. This will really help your heart and soul and help you love yourself, which is important in this message. I'm gonna do this so you guys can see better. All right, now we have a churro message. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And this is actually relating to your higher self, your third eye chakra. So I want you to understand there is grounding. There are new beginnings coming in, but you are blocking it. So let's work on this group one. No, find peace in your heart and resolution for the, the trauma you've been through, the nurturing you need, and the love that you do have for yourself so that you can achieve more clarity and balance with this Ace of Pentacles. It's there for the taking. And group one, this will bring you so much more wholeness and a sense of completing old cycles and patterns that are necessary um, to help revitalize and reinvigorate your sense of self and your sense of ability to bring in abundance in your life. There's a sense of you needing to feel more whole. So what you need to let go of is shame and guilt and fear of bringing this all to light and letting it go. And the blessings that come in, complete wholeness. And then lastly, from what are they thinking by me? Family and friends, acceptance is needed. So this is where you need to speak your truth and just release any guilt and shame and open up to the new beginnings. And just have a lot of peace in your heart. It will bring you wholeness. Thank you, group one. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Group two. Hey, welcome in. I'm so glad you could do this with me. Today, do something beautiful just for yourself. Group two, you really need to nurture yourself right now. 
what's happened. It could be good things that you should reward yourself for. And if you just have some issues in the tissues, let's go take care of it. This is the number 63. It is nine. This does relate to endings. For some of you in a past life, in childhood, etc., this could um, trigger you, so trigger warning about loss, grief, um, and the kind of loss that happens through this sort of graphic uh, depicted picture. And I hope you understand that. But with nines comes a lot of introspection and that wounded heal healer energy that you can liberate yourself from this type of pattern of grief and loss that maybe you inherited or saw or experienced and now share that with the world. But it will take a great amount of healing first but you are a wounded healer five of wands in reverse so this to me is about your soul contract and path this number five it's about taking action on that path this yellow ribbon relates to your solar plex gut chakra you know which direction you need to go in after you have really let go of the things that have been holding you back some of you will also just feel even more caught up in this loss and grief etc but what will help you turn this around is to um, honor these soul contracts, to put more action and passion towards them. And this could be in love, in work. It requires training and elevating yourself intuitively along a path that you know will point you in the right direction. There's interesting symbolic sim, symbol, symbology there, my goodness. This is an indication that you are on a spiritual path of shedding these old patterns that I speak of and things that you may have experienced in a past life and the traumas and conflicts that you go through. Again, it's honoring your soul path, your life path. It is chariot energy. It is divinely guided on this path out of what you feel to be so detrimental, this thing that you went through. So do remember to do something just for you and know that you are divinely guided seven days, seven weeks, seven continents, so many important things to think about your spiritual awakening and healing and how you will share that. Group two, and for those of you asking about love in this, this is someone who is thinking of you, who is divinely connected to you, and I also believe you have the ability to not only soldier through a lot of what's happened to you. This is soldier energy, chariot energy. It is the soldier. So I know that you too have been wounded and you're, you're doing um, the spiritual shedding and changing patterns and your direction. And there is someone out there that wants to know and reconnect with you and perhaps now they're on the same page as you if you lost them please know that spiritually they they are connecting to you in this reading and it's beautiful and I wish you beautiful nurturing things 
and you take care of your stomach and your digestion and release that knot in your stomach. Okay, thank you, group two. I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Welcome in group three. You pick what are they thinking? The stack first. Okay, deep breath, everyone. Let's build a life together. So, group three, this is significant. This is about some kind of relationship. The number two, choices, decisions, two lovers, the empath, um, understanding each other to such a great degree. Sorry about my dogs, one moment. Group, group three, we're back. Life as a YouTube content creator. This is the empath. This is someone that can walk in the room, light it up, read the room. You've constantly had to read the room. So that can make it quite exhausting for you. But I also want you to know that I feel that you are connecting with a twin flame, very possibly, with this beautiful energy. Now, more messages for you. The place where I died is the very place I was reborn. I want you to understand this could be someone that you have lost that you're thinking of that is here to give you a divine message about this connection you're experiencing. I also want you to understand that this is about a rebirth within you where you have now come to a place where I believe you can build a life together with this soulmate and there is a brand new you evolving out of that and it's so pretty all right white sage tarot nine of swords as you know many of you or if you don't this is about endings this is about really overthinking things. And I want you to understand this beautiful rose ties into your higher self, your third, your third eye, your sense of intuition. So you've been overthinking this connection. You've been overthinking the endings about it. So... And some of you really have actually crossed out of this and you're free of this kind of ending to start to build a life together again. It's taken a lot of forgiveness on both parties too. It is taking a complete reevaluation of how to move forward. But I do believe there's a desire to do that and a soulmate connection here. I want you to remember group three not to be codependent though. You have to walk beside this, these people in your life and not carry them. Lastly, there, the number two again. This is trusting your intuition right here. You really have gotten out of the worry state of mind and now you're using your intuition and you're making choices that suit that higher self that opens your awakening to who this person is and the life that you can have. Let me put it where you can see it better. And I find that beautiful. This is some new rebirth for you. It may be a repeat with a soulmate or a rebirth of you that opens this up for you. 
And that is amazing, group three. I do hope you find this useful. And don't forget, subscribe. And please let me know what did resonate, what you like to see, um, what I could do differently for you as well. And catch us over at The Spiritual View as well. And if you'd like to book a reading, I'm available. There's a link in the description. Timestamps as well. And in the comments. Love and peace. See you on the next one.